There are two types of pranks in this world. We have the funny ones where people dress up as mannequins and they scare the shit out of people or people dress up as plants disguising themselves amongst the public. Someone walks by, pa get a reaction, keyword, harmless. And we got the not funny pranks where you go, you fucking body slam someone, pin them to the ground and be like, give me all your money and expect like nothing to happen to you. Not even tell them that it's a whole prank. Meanwhile, they're panicking. We don't know if they have a heart condition or not. Then people come to help out. You wait for a reaction. You do not say or do anything until someone punches you in the face. And that is a time where you say, oh, bro, it is a prank. Cut. Guys, we got the content. Viral. Viral content. And these kind of content and pranks are becoming a lot lately. Ever since the SMS came into everyone's live social media syndrome where you will die for that drug called views i think the best time for pranks was in the 2000s like mid 2000s i don't know if you're old you some of you were were still in your dad's balls but most of us watching this video you know exactly what kind of pranks i was talking about in the mid 2000s where there's no talking there's just a background music and that's all just funny funny pranks anyways for today's video i come across this one guy he decides to pour some water on people's cars now there's nothing wrong with that oh kush car wash why not what's wrong with that in a gasoline tank come on man You're burning your car down bro fuck your car man over all of this yeah uh-huh the night before, he was sitting with his cameraman and his friends brainstorming, brainstorming some prank ideas on how to go viral, how to live that luxury YouTube life, how to become famous. And the first idea that came into their mind was, let's put water inside of gasoline, go to random people in the parking lot and start pouring it down their car, telling them it is over, I am burning down your car. Imagine someone walks up to you with the gasoline and pours it all over your car how would you react to this i believe there were there are some in some states it's illegal for you especially i think in florida as well where you can keep a weapon inside your car now i don't live in the states confirm me correct me if i'm wrong but you can keep a weapon it's legal for you to keep it inside the car and you can use it for self-defense cases now the whole prank would have been a lot funnier if the, if the person decided to use that weapon now i don't get what do you expect from the people what kind of reaction are you expecting for people to do? The, the whole point of a prank is for you and the other person to laugh at the end of it. You are giving them heart attacks. Good. Come on, man. <laughs> and he starts pouring it on him. This is fucked beyond, bro. And then this is the part where he tries to, this is where, you know, things go south. He decides to go against... This elderly man decides to pour water all over his car. And this is where bro whips out that weapon. I don't mean his dick. I mean like an actual weapon, like a pistol. The voice is pretty low. He says, it's water. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank. The second he saw that this guy has a weapon, he's like, smell it. It's water. It better be water, partner, or you're one dead son of a bitch. You stay out of this. I don't want to do that. He doesn't want to do that, but we were all behind the screen after watching this video chanting, do it, do it. It would have definitely been satisfying, same way that guy who was harassing this delivery guy in a mall after he got like shot. I would have felt some sympathy for him if after that he decides to, you know what, pranks were wrong. You know, I learned my lesson, but after that, after he got released from the hospital, that guy who got shot, he was like, I can't wait to do it again. I'm going to take things to the next level. That is when all the sympathy went outside the window. This is the part where <laughs> this is where he is hiding under a car, 20 cars away, shouting it is water. And then he, he says, the guy says that, 
You are lucky that it is water or you would have been one dead son of a bitch. 20 cars away under a car, he screams, fuck you, pussy. What? Why? Why? You got a reaction out of him. You, he made you look like a bitch. Why would you sh sh shout, scream, fuck you, a pussy? What if he is having a mental breakdown that day and he decides to chase you under that car? Now, for the past hour, I've dedicated my life to find what happened to this guy later on. I looked at news articles. They say, unfortunately, that's where the video ends. Not clear what happened to this, nor what who was the original poster of this. Even the news channel are not confirming anything. I tried looking for his tag on TikTok. I put fucking gasoline guy fake car old man gun nothing popped up until i found this one video and i am not sure if this is the same guy or not i want to know what made his brain agree to the fact that okay if this guy is sleeping if i elbow him he's gonna wake up and he's gonna give me a how is this a prank this is literally collecting evidence for the judge to see in your courtroom to send you to jail you are collecting you are snitching on yourself not only snitching on yourself you don't know what people are going through in their lives you know how easy it is to buy a gun in the u.s one guy just one guy it takes one guy but day by day the sms syndrome is reaching new people people are trying new pranks pranks are becoming more and more day by day we still try to me and some other content creators on youtube we try to share the message for them to stop but unfortunately the spread is way more than the people trying to stop this so all we can do is just sit and just make fun of them I made multiple videos in the past on this channel about these pranksters and there's gonna be way more coming through so just buckle up and get ready for more idiots trying to be internet famous but anyways just wanted to talk about that take it for yourself and i will see you at the next one